Shamot Exodus 33. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Depart and go up hence, you and the people which you have brought up out of the land of Mitzrayim, unto the land which I swore unto Avraham, to Yitzhak and to Yaakov, saying, Unto your seed will I give it. And I will send an angel before you, and I will drive out at the Kenaini, the Emori, and the Chiti, and the Perizi, and the Chivi, rather, the Chivi, and the Yevusi, unto a land flowing with milk and honey. For I will not go up in the midst of you, for you are a stiff-necked people, lest I consume you in the way. And when the people heard at the evil report, they mourned, and no man did put on his, rather put on him his ornaments. For Yahuwah had said unto Moshe, Say unto the children of Yashadael, Ye are a stiff-necked people. I will come up into the midst of you in a moment and consume you. Therefore now put off your ornaments from you, that I may know what to do unto you. And the children of Yashadael stripped themselves at of their ornaments by the Mount Chorev. And Moshe took at the tabernacle and pitched it without the camp, afar off from the camp, and called it the tabernacle of the assembly. And it came to pass that everyone which sought Yahuwah went out unto the tabernacle of the assembly, which was without the camp. And it came to pass when Moshe went out unto the tabernacle that all the people rose up and stood every man at his tent door and looked after Moshe until he was gone into the tabernacle. And it came to pass as Moshe entered into the tabernacle, the cloudy pillar descended and stood at the door of the tabernacle And Yahuwah talked with Moshe. And all the people saw at the cloudy pillar stand at the tabernacle door. And all the people rose up and worshipped, every man in his tent door. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe face to face as a man speaks unto his friend. And he turned again into the camp, but his servant Yahusha, the son of Nun, a young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. And Moshe said unto El Yahuwah, See, you say unto me, Bring up at this people, and you have not let me know at whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found grace in my sight. Now therefore I pray you, if I have found grace in your sight, show me now at your way, that I may know you, that I may find grace in your sight, and consider that this nation is your people. And he said, My presence shall go with you, and I will give you rest. And he said unto him, If your presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. For wherein shall it be known here that I and your people have found grace in your sight? Is it not in that you go with us? So shall we be separated, I and your people, from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, I will do at this thing also that you have spoken. For you have found grace in my sight, and I know you by name. And he said, I beseech you, show me at your glory. 
And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and I will proclaim, will proclaim the name of Yahuwah before you, and will be gracious to whom et I will be gracious, and will show mercy on whom et I will show mercy. And he said, You cannot see at my face, for there shall no man see me and live. And Yahuwah said, Behold, there is a place by me, and you shall stand upon a rock. And it shall come to pass, while my glory passes by, that I will put you in a cleft of the rock, and will cover you with my hand while I pass by. And I will take away at my hand, and you shall see my, rather shall see at my back parts, but my face shall not be seen.